This was originally going to be just the start of the series, but I actually encountered a lot of issues getting a map to load. I did test previously, multiple worlds would generate, multiple maps would generate, everything was fine and cool and awesome, but today when I started recording, suddenly it wasn't cool and awesome. Worlds would generate, but whenever I embarked, it would either just refuse or would more often just crash. So I've had to disable the Nature is Pretty Sweet mod. I narrowed it down to that mod was the one breaking everything. And I finally have something that works. But this entire episode is me just kind of... Well, I, I make the colonists and all that. So I, I guess there's still that. And I run through the AI storyteller and, and everything. But this episode can mostly be skipped if you don't care. If you're just after it for background noise or you're super interested, then awesome. But uh, if you just want to see some gameplay, this is another one to just skip, unfortunately. Sorry to say it, but, well, you know, like I said, it's just everything just, just kind of broke. And that, that's how it is sometimes. If for whatever reason you missed it, I did a episode zero on this, which is just me going through all the mods that I have installed currently one by one, briefly describing them and why I have it and such, so... If you're looking for a little bit of background noise, or want to see in more detail what mods I've got, maybe you're new to modding, I don't know, uh, then check out that mod. Otherwise, if you just want a quick glance at the mods that I have, in the description I have a paste bin link that'll bring you to just the entire mod list that I have, uh, all in load order if you want to play along, and there's a Steam URL for each mod next to it, and really good and convenient. So there's that. But this, we're just gonna make the new colony, and just get on with it. Now, starting scenario-wise, I think I'm just going to go for default crash landed. Nothing too fancy or special there. I'm generally okay with it, I think. I think. I'm not too familiar with crash landed, though. So, uh, <laughs> well, we'll see. It might take me a bit to realize just what I've started with. And difficulty-wise, this isn't going to be a playthrough for difficulty. I've already got that going on the side. If you're looking for me to struggle, I highly, highly, highly recommend the daily drama series that I've got going on, where I am attacked by raids basically every day. I get a slightly longer break nowadays because I've changed it a bit. But uh, yeah, we have like regular tornadoes and meteor drops and multiple instances of raids coming in pretty frequently. It's... It's brutal. It is not easy. So if you're looking for a difficult to play through, there's always that. But this is just going to be kind of chill, sort of relaxed. Uh, nothing too, too crazy. I'm thinking maybe Phoebe chillax on some challenge, which is... Whew. Um, that might be too easy. Uh, I don't know, though. But that's what I'm thinking. We can always change the difficulty later on. Just because I'm new to a lot of these mods, most of these mods, in fact, I'm completely new to, so I, I want to just kind of relax and play around with them for a bit, you know? And our seed will go for that one. Yeah, chummy. <laughs> that one. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the whole planet? Yeah, sure, why not? I got some um, some biome mods installed, so we'll see what uh, what that does, and we'll just leave those at normal. Zombie Land settings, right. Right. So, with Zombie Land, I don't want it to be a constant threat all the time, always. I'd rather it just appear as an event from time to time. Uh, so, an event, they just they come from map edges, that's fine. Because otherwise, if it's where there's soft ground, then... Well, I mean, technically it'll be fine. My idea is that I'm going to be making a city type thing. So, there's not going to be much soft ground eventually, but in the beginning, that'll... That'll really suck, so we'll just go for map edges. And they'll attack human-like things, enemies will attack them, sure, animals don't care. The zombies will destroy just everything that was built, but only when they're agitated, I guess. Normal senses, sure. They rage when they get too large, yeah, maybe. Recover? No, zombies don't heal. They're generally pretty easy to kill, too. Delete injured creatures and corpses. Generally just people. Suicide Bombers, Zombies, and Toxic Splasher Zombies. Interesting. Let's bring that to 1 and 4, though. I'm really just looking for just kind of normal zombies. And 
colony multiplier. Um, yeah, I mean, a bunch. Bring it on. Days until zombies come three? Sure. I kind of wish there was a surprise me button or something. So it's just like, ah. Mm, zombies per colony is 20. How does that affect colony multiplier? I don't know. This is all stuff I can change mid-game too, so it's no problem. They feel excited. Mm. Um, just to ensure they're a bit slower than me always all the time. Damage multiplier one, generally kind of weak. They just they're a giant horde. A zombie bite is infectious, generally pretty high. Maybe we get lucky, but it's very likely there's going to be an infection. Time until infection is known, realistically about an hour or two, but remember time's a bit fucky, so yeah, eight hours should be okay. Time infection is treatable. I assume this is time after we know about the infection. So, like... I don't know, like, act fast as hell. Uh, I'm not really sure. We'll just go four hours. Duration of the infection. Uh, well, two days, tops, realistically, but we roll time again, so we'll go four days. Treatment in a bed stops infections. No. No, it does not. Zombies affect danger music. Nah. Automatic avoidance, yeah. Drop blood, gross, yeah, though. Uh, surviving muscle tunkies, nah. Custom texture, sure. Okay, there we go. And here's the world. The good dove scrub. Huh. <laughs> okay. So the new biomes, you can see the new faction icons everywhere, but new biomes look kind of like this. That one's a bit hard to see. A bit hard to see. <laughs> the sun moved. A desert and salt fields, a very dry area which supports a little life. Salt fields are here. Deserts can be hot or quite cold. I think this is just the um, the salted dirt everywhere, which is like impossible to grow on. Or a desert oasis. Large amounts of water surrounded by a very dry area. Oasis itself has rich soil and lots of animals, but it's surrounded by extreme desert. Yeah, maybe. Redwood forest. Forests of large, slow growing redwood trees and old growth oaks. Very rainy and overcast. Many species of animals move around in the trees and on the plains. Because of snow, it's slow to travel in winter. Okay. And we have, oh man. Some real different looking ones here, volcanic fields. Fresh lava means there's lots of danger and a lot of rich soil and geothermal vents. Constant molten lava means winter is mild. Huh. Lava. And I have a mod for quarries where I don't necessarily need to, there we go, fly with a huge river. I might go with that. That sounds great. Or volcanic fields on the coast. Hmm. Let's do that, I think, maybe. Um, I don't necessarily need a mountainous terrain. Though it would certainly help if I did. There you go, mountainous volcanic fields. There we go. Because I have a quarry mod where even if it's flat, random little road there, I can still do a bunch of mining. Well, there we go. Mountainous with the southern coast and caves and volcanic fields. Oh my god. Guys. <laughs> Check out that one. Just north of the Great Green Fly Sea. And, um. Ton Bilavas. Ton. Ton Bivas. Uh, I don't that like. I uh, don't. Fuck it. <laughs> I give up. But alright. Man, I love the world generation of this. It's so good. We'll go with this. This seems totally fine. And advanced. Let's go pretty big. Fuck it. Let's go the biggest. Why not? Because it'll run terribly, that's why. The factions. Um, there's 
one that I'm looking for, and that is going to be Orion. I am hoping. Okay, cool. Whew. These guys are introduced by the Glitteral Tech mod. You do not want to fuck with them. They are very, very serious. And they don't like me, but they're not hostile, so that's good. The Haro Conglomerate. Witnesses. In the medieval war band called Face Beaters Gang. Who's Face Beater? Light mangling. Well, at least they're light mangling. Like, it's not severe mangling, just, just a little bit of mangling. It's light mangling. The light manglers. Or they mangle light. I don't know. A pharaoh clan. A lost platoon. Federation Peacekeeper Corps. They hate us, though. I guess we're evil people? The squid men? The shadow weasels? The animal lineup. There you go. That's a band name right there. Oppression party. Alright. So we got some pretty interesting ones, but uh, Orion's they tolerate me, so that, that's good. And colonists. Now, I'm going to randomize a bit to get something kind of cool. And if I need to, I'll go ahead and prepare carefully and fix their health issues. Because I just need you healthy and capable, but I do want somebody who is capable. Hmm. I do want somebody who's capable of doing research. Really, really... Uh, uh, back... Uh, uh, really, really good at research would be, would be awesome. This is the psychology mod giving them a lot more personality. How much of this actually does something? I don't know. Not sure. So, uh, I'll just, I'll do this real quick. I think I'm okay with this. It's a bit difficult for me because I'm used to strutting with just one person and nothing else, and I typically just ask for somebody to be healthy and capable. But starting with three people, uh, it's a bit easier to be choosy, and it's difficult for me to just say, yes, this is good enough. Um, not really looking for a super ideal start, but again, I don't want to be just completely crippled at the beginning and have to suffer through. That's not what this playthrough's all about. That's what the other one's for. But generally, I think I'm okay with this. We've got McMahon here, who everybody's capable. They just, they hate doing some stuff. And the more they do it, the worse their mood gets. But he hates social, intellectual, and artistic. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Super immune, which is really, really super good. Immunity gain speed is much faster. Psychically dull, which is minus 50 sensitivity. And Insomniac finds it difficult to sleep. He prioritizes sleep less, wakes up sooner, and gets less rest from sleeping. So that'll be an interesting one. I think this was brought on by psychology. And I don't know. Not uh, not sure on him personality-wise overall, but oh well. And I don't know what to expect of Insomniac because the um, sleeping is pretty important for colonists. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll, we'll work with it. He's pretty good at uh, defense animals and construction, namely. It's going to be his... His, uh, his deal. He's also, I think, one of the better medicines that I've got. Yeah, I have a, I have an honest doctor, but he's a good secondary doctor, I suppose. Second up is Keys, who, uh, Night Owl Pessimist, with a bite scar on his torso. Doesn't hate doing anything. He was an optimistic child, became a graphic designer, but he's pessimist, so... Hmm. I don't know. I guess being a graphic designer really took out the uh, <laughs> took out the optimism in his life or something. Not sure, but um, yeah, generally pretty good. He'll be the type of guy who wakes up, uh, takes care of prisoners, does a bit of cooking, and then heads over to research. And we have Blackjack, a wasteland wanderer who became a void space raider. He hates art, but he's a fast learner, which is awesome. Holy shit. And ascetic. 
So he's going to be a really, really, really damn good doc because you get a lot of experience from medicine. Not to mention he's burning passion in it, so he learns quickly. And he's a fast learner. Uh, that is ridiculous. So just like a couple treatments of bruises and his medicine's going to level up real fast. But really cool shooting and crafting. So yeah, that's generally what we've got. I'll also go through the psychology here. Very drug friendly. Hmm. Upbeat, passionate, rational. All right. Less intelligent. What? What? That doesn't make sense. Okay. And keys. The night owl pessimist. Yeah, slightly optimistic. Yeah. Okay. Very drug friendly as well. Okay. Kinsey rating. Which one was... I think it's out of five, right? It doesn't tell me. I think the higher number means how likely it is that they'll hit on the same gender. Like, McMahon here, he's basically gay. I think because... I think that's five out of five. So, he's not... He's not officially gay, so I suppose that just means he's very, very bisexual, right? I think. I could have it backwards. In either case, I have somebody who's a zero Kinsey rating anyway, so... One of you two, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll go with this, though. Um, typically, I would go and take out the torso bite scar, but... Pff, fuck it. Fuck it, let's do it. Just because I know sometimes there's an issue with prepare carefully, where if you actually go in and edit, sometimes it fucks up a little bit, and it it doesn't generate the world, and you have to redo all of it. And uh, I I just don't want to risk it. Not for a torso scar. There we go. So, oh. Well, that didn't last very long. It's already crashed to desktop. <laughs> oh, God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> this guy's face. Wow. A cat herder who became a feline scientist. A brawler optimist with a bleeding heart. Big heart gets very emotional. Loves helping people and abhors violence and injustice. But he's a brawler. But then he's also an optimist. I don't know. But look at those burning passions, though. Fucking hell. They're great. I, uh... I don't know. I'm still working on this third person. But so far, we got Mitsuya here. A transfer student who become a politician. Fast learner. Awesome. Neurotic. Cool. You work faster. You break a bit easier. And you like the rain. You get a mood boost when uh, when it's pouring outside, and especially if you get to go out in it. So that's cool. But um, you don't really do a whole lot, though. But I'm thinking if I just throw you into a room with research table, you could be fine. You just like talk to prisoners and then research. That's all you do. So that's that taken care of. This person, I don't know, medicine and cooking. And then I need and also mining, I suppose. So then I need just a constructor for you. Okay. She might work. A brawler who is an insomniac, but also a hard worker. Really good at construction, fantastic at melee, and decent at growing. So, that's basically everything that I asked for. I mean, for starting three people, we're, uh, we're actually basically all melee. <laughs> And um, that, that that might be a problem, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think I'm okay with this. So I'm going to go prepare carefully here. Ooh, we're going to save this as preset one. So now if it crashes again, then uh, we're okay. Yep, we're good. And it still does that. Okay. Uh, well, this is the, um, for some reason, Prepare Carefully has been doing that. This is the world that I generated. The seed was a cave, and it's just the, just generate, you know, the smallest world, whatever. 
large hills, volcanic um, fields this time. And we'll we'll see if this works. Still with caves. And we are still uh still tolerated by the Orion Corpse, that's good. And advance. I forgot to do this actually. Haha! -ha! There we go. And now next. And I think this looks like it's saved and cool. Aww. Aww. Yeah, I don't know if the, um... Some challenge are rough. Some challenge, I guess. I don't know if that... We'll go 50% this time with... Uh, Kiko? Yeah, sure. Kiko's an okay guy. Uh, we'll go with 50% this time around. I don't know if the volcanic fields is working. That's two out of two times now that it... The first time crashed, the second time just isn't generating. So, unfortunately, I think maybe we we shelf that one and we put a pin in it and see if we can do it another time. Probably with less mods. <laughs> I'm thinking with just so many mods going, it might just be too much for some stuff to handle. Uh-oh, Orion's hostile. That's gonna suck. But okay, I'll put up with it. Um, this time around, we'll go for, should I just go for a normal biome? There's more volcanic fields. Yeah, I don't know if those work. They're all over the goddamn place, though. Um, I have trouble seeing which ones, it, like, are these, all, these are all volcanic fields. That's all I'm being given here. I have trouble seeing, because it's got this weird coloration to it that varies, and I, I have trouble telling, is that a new type of biome, or what? But dude, this is like, this is all volcanic fields, Jesus Christ. <sighs> there you go, redwood forest, okay. Can we get like a um, large hill or a mountainous redwood forest? We'll try that. Let's see if that works out better. I don't know, let's try this out. Desert Oasis. I know this one works, this is the biome I use for my thumbnail. Um, so it at least still works sometimes, at the very least. Mountainous, there's a coast, it's a desert oasis, so it's got a, um, it's just basically a big lake with a ring of rich soil around it. It's kind of strange, but, mm -hmm. Eastern coast, caves, cool, advanced, make it big. Oh yes. Oh yes. I wonder if maybe that's also what bugs it, I don't know. And, uh, were there any really cool pirate bands? The killer splitters, they split killers. Force outfit, vengeance partners, rapier hyenas, contingent phi, spirit seeker, stabber's ridge, prophets, mark of Cain. All right, the council of the green shark. Hmm. Okay, and prepare carefully. Takes a second to load. Load preset, preset one. Start. Okay, cool. We'll see if this one works. We'll get there eventually, guys. It's okay. Well, it loaded, and I just saved, so that's a good sign. Our oasis is... sort of in a mountain, but... very carefully panning around. Oh, we got that issue. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, that, that, that's... That's pretty wild there. Our, uh... Our east coast is in the mountain. Wow. Uh... Boy, maybe... Maybe we re-rolled this guy. Um, wow, this is so broken. Yeah, you use the yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like nope, fuck you. Okay. Um, let's just go with something kind of normal then, I guess. I'm thinking what the issue is, is that there's just so many constraints that I'm putting on it, and there's not enough mm, checking going on between the mods in the game that it tries to generate it, it doesn't say that it's not okay because it doesn't know to say it's not okay and it just goes for it anyway, which causes it to break and get really confused and just crash. 
So like there's a coast. Okay, cool. A coast on its own. Yeah, sure. Mountainous. Okay, yeah, mountainous and coast. All right, so that's like two sections locked off. Eh, okay, yeah, sure. And then you've got the new biome mod that's doing even more stuff. And it's just, it's too much for it all at once. And it doesn't work very well. So I think if I were to do with the new biome, I'd have to go with like flat or maybe small hills and just nothing else. Just keep it really super simple. And yeah. So maybe I'll try that with Redwood Forest. This time, factions, Orion, we are hostile. Ugh. Um, yeah, this time I think I'm just going to go for like Redwood Forest or something. And just kind of like maybe small hills or something. There you go, Redwood Forest, small hills. Yeah, yeah, there you go, right here. This is our spot, 50, 60 days growing. Nothing too fancy. Because I did test this a little bit and I generated some and I just, I didn't have anything that was like too crazy though. You know, like mountainous with a river and a road and all that jazz. It was just kind of just here you go. So yeah, this should, I think, work. Next. Okay. Wow. This is um a lot of shit. Are we? No, we're not. I, I zoom on, I try to pan to see a map edge, and it breaks. I don't know. Guys, I don't think that mod works. I don't know why it doesn't work. Because it worked when I made the thumbnail, and it worked when I did a few tests. But now, I don't know. I don't even know if it's that mod in particular, to be honest. The seed this time is shoe. 50%. I don't know why it's crashing now, and it wasn't before. We got a few uh, islands way out there. But, well, it is, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it right now. So, what I'll do is I'll try just a normal standard vanilla biome that I know works, which is basically all of them. I've never really had much of a world generation problem. Just that really annoying bug that popped up in the um, Alpha 17 hotfix where combat music loops, and that's because it's just mechanoids inside one of the uh, temples is on like permanent aggression this is kind of a cool little area here there's only <laughs> only one way in and that's the road i like it otto's arrogance c yeah all right maybe i mean mountainous with the coast and caves sure why not it would be cool if i could get a uh mountainous coastal river with caves that'd be interesting but i don't think you can get that combination not sure, but there you go. Tiber Forest, nothing fancy at all. This is so plain. <laughs> and if this doesn't work, then it's probably the map reroll mod that broke, or the uh, or the weather effects mod is somehow still affecting it. I don't know. Orion, they tolerate us this time. And advance, going with big. Could also be this. Because I think before I just left the default size. I don't know. I want it big though, damn it. Very carefully. No, no, no. Load, uh, load preset. You know, this is how it is sometimes. Where you just, you got, you got a recording session and it's just constant, continuous trying to get it to start and work and everything okay. And sometimes it just refuses. <sighs> It's a shame too. I think once we get going though, we'll be okay. Cause like I said, I, I did test the stuff and it works and I was able to play around for a good while and nothing broke. So carefully zoom out. What is that? Oh my God. What are you? There's a crab apple tree and whatever the fuck that is. Damn. Just a big, like, Redwood stump knocked over. Going to the map edges. Okay, and we have non combat music. Fuck! The seat is Teacher. This is a 50% map size. 
and our coordinates are 7.86 north, 11.96 east. We'll try this. The uh, nature is pretty sweet mod is disabled since it was still putting down like that giant weird redwood looking tree thing that was knocked over. So that's still, I think it's that mod, still affecting something. And it's um, it's placing assets in areas that probably shouldn't exist and the game panics. So we'll try this. And if this doesn't work, then I'll try the map reroll thing and see if um, maybe that's fucking it up. Orion Corp. Uh, ah, they actually like us this time. Okay. Cool. Oh man, I hope this works. It's really upsetting to me because this this was working. I mean, I I generated a few different worlds. I generated a few different maps. I embarked a few different times, and everything was totally fine. And now it's just not. I don't know what changed. It's very upsetting to me. Because I did mountainous, I did flat. I didn't do anything too crazy though. So that's why I'm just keeping it just sort of standard stuff that would normally generate just fine. And, uh, and we'll see. It just sucks because this is like a wasted episode. <laughs> wasted recording time and all that. Panning around. We have non-combat music. It seems good. I've pulled a lap now. So I don't know what the problem is with that mod, but uh, well, it be fixed now. Or at least it seems to be. There we go. Everybody generated okay. Happy faces moving around. It's not. That's not the issue, is it? People turning. Everything's. Everything's cool. I mean, it's a bit choppy. Not sure what the choppiness is per se, but okay. We we have we have a generated map. Thank fuck for that. I just need to figure out why it's uh, why it stutters. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> 